So should I consider working for the flatbed division and what is the pay difference? So I will break this video up into three parts. The first one, we'll talk about why drivers won't consider working for the flatbed division. The second part, we will talk about the pay difference between flatbed truck drivers and van reefer truck drivers, both for regional and long haul. And lastly, make sure you stay tuned till the end. We will show you a few pay statements, two company drivers and two owner operators working in the flatbed division. So let's get started. In a recent poll, that I've conducted with over 2,300 truck drivers that don't work in the flatbed division, they were asked, why would you not consider working for the flatbed division? Here were some of the responses. 22% said that they just refuse to tarp. 9% said that they do not want to chain and strap. 7% said too much waiting time at the loading and unloading. 4% hate over dimensional and 59% said all of the above. Now, it looks like a recession is headed our way, so we will need to think of creative ways in order not to get affected by these markets. So let's talk about different pay structures in the flatbed division. Usually the pay is approximately 15 cents per mile higher for long haul truck drivers versus a traditional driver that's doing van and reefer. Now we're not talking about any truck driver that's doing over dimensional. When you are working locally, usually it's an hourly pay. Dry vans pay around $22 to $26 per hour, and flatbeds will pay around $26 to $30 per hour here in the GTA. And yes, this is also pretty much a national average, both in Canada and the US. There are companies that pay lower, and there are definitely companies that are paying much higher than what I've given you. Now, what I'm trying to do in this video is see if there is somehow a way that you drivers out there can benefit from best of both worlds. Does the extra pay outweigh the disadvantages? That's a question that we can answer after we look at the pay statements. This question is really for you 26% drivers out there who answered who refused to do flatbed work because they don't like to tarp and they refuse to do overdimensional work. But would you consider a job doing roll tights? Take advantage of the high paying flatbed job, but eliminate the tarping and the overdimensional work? So before we get into the pay statements, remember it appears to be that tough times are coming. Cost of use equipment is at an all time high. Interest rates have come up over in the last six months. Fuel prices are outrageous. Everything was nice and dandy when the prices of the loads were at an all time high. But now with freight rates coming down drastically month over month, we might need to be a little creative. So in my videos, I talk a lot about financing and interest rates because 90% of the time when I look at lease agreements, our hardworking truck drivers are getting taken advantage of. My heart drops when I see finance agreements and drivers being charged between 12 to 18% in interest fees. Whether you're a Canadian driver or an American driver, I have created a link below for you. And with a click of a button, you can make these finance companies compete for your business. Once you hit that submit button, it will go to four different lenders and let them compete for your business. So now the interesting stuff. Let's look at two company drivers and two owner operators in the flatbed division. Well, actually doing roll tights and let's see what they made. And we will convert that into annual pays. All right, so pay statement time. We have our owner operator, unit number 347. We'll block off his name and his company name. This is an owner operator. This is a 15 day pay statement. And yes, I tried to bring out the most latest data. So this one is a pay statement from March 16th to the 31st of 2022. Our fuel surcharge for that pay statement was 33 cents per mile. So this owner operator drove 6,680 miles. The driver grossed out $11,833. He did receive $2,200 in fuel surcharge. And the total gross was 14,038. He did have the disability insurance, the buy down insurance, his fuel in US dollars converted already into Canadian, truck repair and a ticket that he paid off. So let's have a look. So this driver took home net to his pocket $7,963. So I will need my phone for this because we will convert this into an annual pay and we'll compare the difference. So driver number one, $7,963. We'll multiply that by 24 pays. So that comes out to $191,112 if he was to work like this the entire year. But what we're actually gonna do is we'll take that number, $7,963. We'll only multiply it by 23 pay statements. We won't do 24 because there's a lot of holidays, long weekends. So we'll give this driver off 15 days 
days. So he grossed out $183,000, 149. Well, that's after fuel, that's after his expenses. He just needs to pay for his truck and I guess for his taxes at the end of the year. So the first driver, $183,000 annually. Okay, our second driver is also an owner operator working in the roll tight division. This driver had a little bit more miles. He drove 7,256 miles in 15 days. Fuel surcharge also at 33 cents, $2,394. $15,166 is what this driver grossed. He has his Canadian fuel, US fuel, disability insurance, buy down insurance. This driver took home $8,455 and that's in 15 days. Now we're gonna multiply the exact same thing by 23 pay statements. We won't use 24 pay statements because this driver will most likely need to take off a couple of weeks throughout the year. So this driver grossed out $194,465. Again, that's after the fuel. This is what he took home into his bank account, into his corporation. And then from here, he has to pay his taxes and whatever other expenses he has. Most likely he'll have his truck payment here. For those that have their trucks bought out, he's gonna have probably repairs and maintenance if he doesn't do it from the company. But $194,465 is what this owner operator grows. Now let's compare this to company drivers that work for the company. Okay, so a company driver here receives in the roll tight division, in the flatbed division, 77 cents per mile is what we pay our company drivers. So company driver number one, and this driver drove 6,500 miles. So very close to what our first owner operator drove. He grossed out $5,038. And then he has his vacation pays paid out to him. $5,000 $239 is what this driver did in 15 days. Now, it depends what state or which province you're working for, they all have different deductions. So here in Ontario, we do have the CPP, EU and EI in the province of Ontario. So this, the driver netted after all of his expenses and took home $2,908. Yes, you might think this is outrageous, but here in Ontario, the taxes are really high. So the driver did end up paying $2,208 in taxes. Now let's see what this driver did. Driver number three, 2,908, and we'll multiply this by 24 pay statements, not 23 because this driver has the vacation pay. So this driver grossed out $69,792 net, but I also want to put the gross figures out there because a lot of drivers are saying you should put the gross figures out there when you're doing your pay statements. So this driver grossed out $5,200 $39. And I actually think it makes more sense to put the gross because everyone should be able to calculate in their state or in their province how much taxes that they'll, they'll be paying. So $5,239, multiply that by 24 pay statements. We're talking about our driver here in the flatbed division grossed out $125,736. So that's driver number three. And now we will take one more company driver also getting paid 77 cents per mile. This driver did 7,824 miles miles okay and again that's in 15 days the driver grossed out $6,164, the added vacation pay, so $6,411. So $6,411, and we'll multiply that by 24 pay statements. So driver number, fourth driver grossed out $153,864. That's gross, and he netted $3,989. Multiply that by 24. He would have netted $95,736 if he was to drive this way the entire year. Well, there you have it. You have owner operator number one, owner operator number two, company driver number three, and company driver number four. Four separate annual projected pay statements, but you actually have the 15 day pay statement that you can go off of. So now that you've seen the pay difference, would you consider getting the best of both worlds? There are lots of carriers, both in Canada and in the US, that have big fleets of roll tights. Would you consider it? I would love to hear some of your feedback and what you think. If you don't know this already, this channel is all about North American trucking. Our most popular playlist are trucking industry issues, our pay comparison videos, and advice from truckers. Our three presenters are myself, Ronan, VP of Operations here at ET Transport, Dean, who is our old school bodybuilder driver, and Liam, which brings us up to date on all the latest news on trucking. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm Ronan, and I'll catch you in my next video.